Hi guys. Happy Wednesday to everyone. I hope everyone is having a beautiful, blessed day today on this Wednesday. Guys, for those that are new, welcome to my channel. I am Marisol. If this is your first time watching and you enjoy my video, please like, subscribe, share my videos to your friends so that my channel can continue growing and we can all share our babies. To my faithful watchers, thank you for joining me once again. Guys, I'm setting up over here this beautiful Indian blanket. It has rainbows and it's pink. I don't know if this try. I don't know. I don't know, guys, about the lighting. It is a um. It is a. It is a um. Not a sunny day today. I don't know. Let's just leave it on. Sorry that I'm messing with it. I'm just trying to give you the best option available. Yeah. So I don't know how these rainbows go. Whichever way I put the blanket, up, down, I can't, I guess they go this way. Yeah, guys. So today, guys, I am back with a video of my big girl, Brooklyn. So Brooklyn is the baby that I rooted and um, I, I rooted it and her, I just kind of re, I took some of her stuffing out because she was, I think she was a little bit too stuffed. Let me try to pop up with you guys because I want you guys to kind of enjoy her. And she so needs another pacifier, and I don't. I got a bag over here, but I, I don't know. I don't know what I have over here. My pasties are like really in the back. I don't know um, if any of these will suit her. Let's see. Oh, mommies, you didn't want that Elmo bootleg one, right? Let's see if this one is good for her. No, nope, she doesn't want that. She likes this one. That one looks good on her too yeah so guys yesterday i kind of took some of her stuffing i i changed i changed her like now you know these um i can definitely move her legs now her limbs but you know guys i watched the video see i can move her limbs and her head but let me tell you so her zip ties aren't even tight. It's just like the way I seen. I watched the video on how you can kind of glue, put glue like on the ridge ridges of the of the limbs and let them sit dry and then put then do and then put the the um, zip ties. And then it'll give them like movement, like where you can really, really like they'll move more freely, which that's definitely what I have to do with her. But yesterday I gave her a little bit of bangs. I didn't give her a lot, but I, I brushed her hair. I gave her these two pigtails and I gave her, I brushed her hair and uh, I gave her, I, I gave her very little, 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 little bit of, um, bangs not a lot just very very slight and guys this is my first time rooting and um i mean that's what i did and i was able to you know give her bangs so i think she looks stinking cute i love her and that's all that matters somebody left a comment that she has too much hair she might have too much hair for somebody but let me tell you something um god didn't god didn't create us all bald okay and like i said in the beginning um my best friend her granddaughter was 
born with hair long, just like this, guys. And not because I rooted her and because this is what I got. I'm not saying that for that purpose at all. I'm just saying it because 100% um, her granddaughter was born. This one fits her, but it's too high up. Her granddaughter was born with a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. Just like this, guys. And, um, and thick, but it was just, it's just black. Oh, this one fits her really nice. But I'm definitely going to work with this one today because these are the colors of the outfit that I'm going to give her today. But I have a couple of uh, magnet ones in here that maybe, and then I have a whole bunch in the back. I just have to kind of, that Elmo one was just something that I grabbed and I just was trying. But, um, yeah, so, you know, who's to say who's born with a lot of hair or who's what's for what, you know, like. She's my baby. I rooted her. I love her. And I decided, so the kit is, is she's the Brooklyn kit. But um, I decided yesterday when I was messing with her, I decided, like, I want to, you know, from when I started, when I started rooting her, I just wanted to name her Ginger. But I know every redhead baby, we tempt, we tempt to call them Ginger right but um i really want to name her ginger and i think i think see i have to kind of like <laughs> she's definitely a ginger that's gonna be her name guys so she is ginger aka thickums because that's what my daughter calls her she calls her thickums because she got thick legs so i um I did change her, you know, I changed her zip ties, but I feel that I need to still work on, on it where, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do the glue thing that I seen online and, um, I seen, um, a video where they, um, they, you could put. You could put glue on the on the edge on the edge of the limbs and um you let it dry overnight and then it'll give the doll movement so definitely with this doll she has to do that we have i have to do that with her so today i'm gonna give her this little outfit it's a little pink top and it has um i wouldn't even know i'm i suck so bad at explaining but it has this um uh, cream color um pattern and it has like these ruffles around it, it around the it, it looks almost like a bib in the front it has two little buttons in pink and then it has almost like a pattern looking like almost like a bib in the front and it has like ruffles and then it has pink flowers pink flowers with green stems roses and then the pants are just as the pattern on the shirt but they have like these little fancy fancy laces not, well you know they got fr fringes and they like they're not long pants i think they're like almost like mid mid pants and i'm gonna give her this and then i'm gonna give her these little ballerina ankle shoes she's gonna get that yeah that's what i'm gonna give her so guys so today i wanted to um kind of come on and talk to you guys about my video yesterday i did a video and i was changing my babies and i got upset because i was changing my lorna baby and you know she is just a prototype by Lorna Mills and um and she is really really she was expensive and really put together poorly and um you know it's almost like um 
it's almost like a hush hush thing because I don't know because I don't know maybe because she's an artist that's been in the community for a long time and a lot of people don't really come out and say what's going on with their dolls or with her work you know as an artist what she's what she's putting out there um you know um they like kind of keep it under the you know hush hush I don't know maybe it's because Sorry guys, I just want a little bit of my drink. Um, maybe it's because they feel that people are gonna attack them, or you know, um, I don't know. This the dog community can be really, really crazy. Like you know, people can people can be crazy and they could attack you, and you know, some people can't handle that, and they just you know don't say anything. You know, and she does have a lot of people that love her and. You know and you know they speak so highly of her but um i've gotten a lot of i know of a lot of people that um have bought her 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 babies um and are very disappointed you know with um with her work um um and as um i made that video yesterday you know um like a couple of more people have reached out to me and said you know things about their babies and how they feel because i said something and i feel that you know she has been in the um community for a long time but i you know and i i don't see why we should keep it hush hush like i mean i paid very good money for you know a doll that was very poorly put together and you know i mean shame on me that i didn't say anything you know that i didn't send her back and ask for my damn money that's what i should have did but you know i didn't know she was i don't play with the doll and i was really disappointed that um she was so poorly put together um and um uh, yesterday I decided to give her I probably changed her maybe like four times I would say maybe maybe four or five times five times if probably would be me exaggerating but because I really honestly don't I'm, I'm I'm just like I'm just so disappointed with the damn doll I know I'm never gonna get my money back on you know on that sale and um you know um so I'm really just, it's just a very disappointing, you know, thing. So I just really don't, I really don't mess with that doll at all. So um, yesterday I was just like, you know, decided to like, okay, let me just change her. You know, let, let me take her out of this outfit for once and decided to, you know, mess with her. And I find another, another, you know, another issue with her, which you know got me very very disappointed and very upset on you know on camera on film and you guys know those guys that know you know that watch me you know i don't have no filter you know i speak my mind as we all should and um you know i said something and you know a couple of people have came um you know out and have said and shown me their dolls and their you know their disappointments you know what i'm saying and i feel that it's really messed up that you're an artist and that you've been out there for such a long time and like and that you're still like you know putting these dolls together like that and charging that type of money like it's just really messed up and the reason why i'm bringing this up is um is because i i feel that we shouldn't be afraid to speak on what we get like, if you buy something from an artist, I don't care who she is. She could be whoever. The god of all gods. As far as, you know, creating dolls. If she gives you, you know, a bad product, you should say something so that, you know, other people can know what this person is putting out. Because, you know, um it's like i i learned the hard way i learned by spending a lot of money and a lot of us don't have a lot of money like that to be spending i mean um you know 
I don't have it like that anymore. You know, it was just some money that I had and I, you know, I love dolls. I bought my dolls. I don't have money like that to spend anymore on dolls. But um, I'm just saying that, you know, we shouldn't, I'm not rich, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's not okay even when I had the money or even if we do have the money, I don't think that it's okay. Here it goes. I don't think that it's, you know, it's, you know, that it's okay, like, for us to, like, just, you know, not say nothing. I think that we should, you know, say something and put it out there. We shouldn't be afraid to speak out on, you know, what we get, you know, and what the what the person's putting out there as, as an artist, you know, because we should know we should we should inform each other like we should at least do that for one another guys doesn't she doesn't she look cute doesn't she look cute my little snuggums my little thickums this is ginger guys definitely this is my ginger baby i love her i think she looks so much better than and she was a budget baby guys i think i paid something like 200 bucks for her or even, I think it was like $200 or something like that. But anyways, um, you know, I, I feel that, you know, who are we, like, shielding them from? Like, I think that that's really jacked up. Like, you know, for people to, like, just be, like, the unspoken thing, you know? Like, I don't think that that, that I don't think that that should, that we should do that. And I, I mean, let me tell you guys, I roll, I, I, I march to my own drum. I don't, you know, I speak my mind and I, that's why I did that video yesterday. I, I mean, I didn't do the video. I did, it just, that just happened on camera like that. But that's why I put it out there because I'm, I'm still pissed. I'm still upset. I'm upset. I'm upset that, you know, other, I've had conversations before even that video with other people that has had bought dolls from her and they've been upset because you know how she puts the dolls together and like you know I mean like you could put the dolls together whichever way you want just don't charge like don't think that you're this badass artist you know, charging, you know, charging people all this money. And the dolls are beautiful, guys. My doll is absolutely beautiful. The face, the dolls, you know, the face of the dolls are beautiful. The, she, she puts little nails on them, on their toes, on their hands. The silicone is not bad at all. But, I mean, you know, the, the, the construction of the way she puts the dolls together is so bad. It's so bad. I mean, it's jacked up really, really bad. And I mean, that, that you know, that counts for a lot because it's how you're putting your babies together. I mean, I just, I mean, I, I just feel that there's a lot of artists out there that you know that are doing this to us and you know we, we're just receiving these dolls and we're not saying anything to the com you know to other to other people we're not letting it be known to the community so that other people can know and be aware and know what to look for like you know i don't think i feel that my experience you guys, you can, you, I'm not telling you guys don't buy, don't buy her dolls. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, just know that this happened to me. There's other people out there that are disappointed with her work. A lot of people that are disappointed with her work. And if you decide to fall for the beauty of a doll and not the construction of it, then know that that's what you're going to get from it. You know that that's what you're buying you know just know that that's what you're gonna get you know um just be aware just be aware and just everything that shine is in gold you know like guys you got to do your homework when you buy these dolls ask for pictures ask for videos um you know ask for detailed pictures like you want to know you want to know for movements ask for for 
videos of the movements of the doll um you know um close-up shots um you know to me uh, personally if i'm selling if i'm selling a doll i would love for to do a video uh, you know facetime let's facetime each other um and let's do a video chat like you know like i want to do this one-on-one -on -one and i want you to ask questions i want to take the the clothes off the doll and i want to show you up front i want to show you up front what the doll looks like i want to you know i want to do that because i want you to know what you're getting into i want you to know and experience you know any questions that you have i want you to experience and ask them and you know and and get the answers to them you know what i'm saying um and that's what you guys gotta just know that everything that glitters isn't gold and you have to really do your homework because it doesn't matter if you're paying a hundred dollars for a doll or you know a ten thousand dollars for a doll you have to do your homework because it's your money at the end of the day and you don't want to you know we're we get excited when we're gonna get these dolls we're like or you know or or excited our our adrenaline is all pumping and we just like we're nesting for this doll where you know we're looking at other other doll mommies that in the community that have the same doll so that we can know more or less what the doll looks like or what the doll moves like or what size the doll wears or you know things like that and we're all like building our ex you know our expectations to this doll and then when you get the doll you know you're not happy you know what i'm saying it that sucks you know and then you know it's you don't want to go through that you don't want to go through all that you know you don't want to go through the letdowns and stuff like that so i'm just saying guys you got to be very very careful don't don't think because an artist has like 30 years in the cyst, you know, 30 years in the game that, and she's cocky and confident with herself that, she, that her work is good. Don't, don't always go by that. You got to go by, you know, you got to, that's what we got to put. That's what I'm saying. We have to, we have to let each other know what's going on. You know, you got to let each other know what's going on. Like, you know, um, uh, too many people have reached out to me that are not happy with her dolls you know too, i've i've heard too much too many stories and too many things and you know it's definitely just not me you know and um i'm not trying to like i'm not trying to tear her down i'm just trying to like get your shit right like you know what i'm saying like you're you're you're, you're charging these you're charging all this high-end money and you're not doing high you're not producing the work that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna charge high end money, you have to do high end work. So if you have 30 years in the game, you have to do, you know, come on, you have to, you have to, you have to step up your game. You gotta step up your game. You know, you have to step up your game. And you know, it it hasn't stepped up, guys. Like, it hasn't stepped up. Like the new the last last year's um dolls that she produced they have like torsos and stuff it's a hot mess guys underneath all that it's a hot mess the glue thing going on is terrible like what i showed you on my doll's arms over here yesterday that is all around here all around the legs it is terrible it is a bad 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 job it's bad and it's high in money so like it's it's robbery that's what it is it's robbery like so if you're gonna buy one of these dolls you have to like ask to see the doll up close naked with no clothes and you know know what you're buying guys not only with her dolls with all any dolls with anybody second hand you know especially the second or third hand market because now this baby's been through different mommies and different hands you know what i'm saying so you want to know the you want to know what the baby feels like and or, or what it moves like if it has any especially if it's a, it's a silicone doll you want to make sure that it doesn't have any tears um when you are purchasing a, a full body silicone and it's 
you know, second hand, third hand, fourth hand. Um, one of the things that you should ask is if the doll is sticky, guys, because you don't know if this doll has been in heat. Silicone dolls shouldn't be kept in a hot space. You know, hot heat kind of like makes the silicone tacky and sticky. And that's not good. You know, that's not good. Um, so, you know, you, you want, these are questions that you want to ask, you know, and, um, I don't know guys, I just wanted to like, kind of like say that and, um, you know, um, just let you guys know. And I just, you know, I don't know it all guys. I do not know it all. I am not the queen. I don't want a lot of people contact me, um, when they're about to buy a baby because I do have a lot of dolls. Um, and they feel like I'm so experienced. I'm not. I only know what I know because of what I have. You know, there's a, a whole world out there of a lot more. And I don't, do not know it all, guys. I do not know it all. I only know what I know from what I have and what I've experienced. I haven't experienced all the dolls, you know. Um, so, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I also wanted to share my beautiful ginger baby. Yes, and she looks so cute, extra. She looks like a little puppy doll with her two big pigtails and her big bow. Yes. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to share my baby. And um, I think she's so sweet. Yeah, and um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to really like just come up really quick and show you guys um you know my baby oh actually oh wait i can't um somebody asked to see the comparison between her and my june baby and i was gonna go and get her but guess what i grabbed her and she went to fall and i grabbed her by i i went i grabbed her the wrong way and one of her limbs fell off her legs so i have to kind of like put a zip tie on her um Yeah, but I um, they asked up for a comparisons video, um, which I'll probably do that next time around. But June is um, Junus, my Junusy baby is bigger than she is, um, and she's got curled legs, and my June does not. So definitely, even if she did have straight legs, but I'm definitely gonna um, do that for my. Um, I'm feeling like going, grabbing her and just kind of um, putting a zip tie really quick for you guys. Um, hmm. Yeah, let me do that. I'll grab her. And then this way I'll... Okay, let me just grab a zip tie. Uh, let me grab a zip tie. <laughs> she lost the limb, guys. It looks creepy, right? Yeah. My poor baby girl. My poor baby girl needs surgery, guys. She needs to go to the hospital. Let me just kind of move her. And put this beauty up here. Um, this outfit looks so cute, huh? Her limbs move really nice, but my girl lost the limb. She lost the limb. That was yesterday. I grabbed her to move her. I was in the nursery. I'm home, girl. 
lost the limb but this is such an easy fix very easy fix and then this way I can show the comparison somebody did ask me and um where did I put your leg girl oh right here if this girl is bigger There we go. Let's see. There we go. There we go, Mama. See, you all fixed up. Alrighty. I'm going to show you guys right now. Because somebody did ask me and... I been meaning to do it, but I didn't have no zip ties for um from Brooklyn for my ginger, <laughs> for my ginger baby. So let me see how I could do this. Okay, so you guys can see. Um, I want to put them side by side. Um, let me take the boppy out and maybe put a pillow. Because I want these guys to kind of get some type of, um, I want to prep them so that these guys can kind of see side by side. Oh my God. So, let me try to bring the tripod. Um, a little higher as well. Sorry for the movement. Guys, I don't mean to get you guys dizzy. Just trying to give you guys so you guys can see better. So this is the difference in length. They're almost the same. Actually, if she had straight legs, they would probably be the same size. Yeah. Yeah, and they they use the same size in clothes. To be honest with you guys, they use the same size in clothes. Um, yeah, and they're almost the same size. To be honest with you, um, the only difference is that June's legs are straight, and Brook um, Brooklyn, the Brooklyn kit, she has the curved legs. You see, she has like the little. So that she, so that you kind of like do this, you know. So being that she has a little, uh, kind of like the curve in her legs, but you know, if I keep her legs as straight as possible, which that will be it, you know. Um, yeah. So Brooklyn is probably maybe two inches, an inch. I would say an inch, two inches two inches of comparison that was a good that was a good um that was a good question that they asked because i i always thought that she was a whole lot bigger um but as far as clothes they they both they're both the same size so they wear like um nine month clothes i'm gonna say yeah they wear like nine month nine month old clothes that's that's the size that i have to put um, even 12 months will fit them perfect because they're very chunky girls. So, yeah. That's my two girls right there. <laughs> so different, right? Both beautiful girls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good, that was actually a very good, um, a very good, um, question that they asked me and I always thought that she was a lot bigger not until now I always thought that she was bigger as far as the length I knew that they wore the same size clothing but I thought that she was a lot bigger um in um length I thought she was like longer a lot longer than she was but I knew that they wore the same 
um, the same size and clothes. But yeah, they are just basically maybe like, I wouldn't say, I would say um, an inch or two in difference. But they're basically the same size. Yeah, I would say the same size. Yeah, so that's um, that's the question answered for my subscriber that did ask me about the size comparison. I hope that I hope that you watch and I hope that you see it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So that's my video for today. Um, I hope that you guys. Um, I hope that this was informative and. Um, I'm not trying to slander anybody. Um, I'm not trying to slander um, Lorna. I think that she's doing a great job by her damn self. I think she's doing a great, fabulous job at slandering her own name. She's putting out shit work out there and, you know, and, um, you know, making a lot of people, giving a lot of people a bad taste in their mouths. But unfortunately, um, I don't understand why people are just not saying what what they're getting for. Like they saying it like behind the scenes. Like they'll hit me up and they'll tell me. And it's not because I did this video yesterday. I've gotten I've gotten um you know I've gotten Dolly friends, Dolly mommies contacting me before this video and 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 have mentioned to me how you know how you know they're not uh, you know happy with you know with their with their with their dolls and um i just i just i just think that it's that that it's messed up that you know you just gotta like you just gotta let people know you gotta let people know because people go out there they see a beautiful doll and then they you know you you you, you pay you pay higher money for this for this baby and then you you know you get you get robbed because you get a, a, a doll that's constructed very very super poorly this is not like oh it's just so it's just one thing no it's a very super poorly put together dolls that's what she's selling they're beautiful dolls but they are put together really really crappy really really super crappy so if you guys are thinking about buying one of her dolls i suggest you do your homework like really do your homework and you know i don't know like yes my doll is beautiful yes these dolls are beautiful but like they are put together very 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 bad and i'm not for that no i don't i i i, I could get take my money take the high end money that i'm paying you know and get myself a good construction a good constructed doll that's very beautiful from a different artist She's not the only artist out there, guys. And, you know, I mean, you know, you, you guys got to do your homework. And you got to, like, you got to speak. You got to let other other buyers know, you know, what's what's out there. So that we can know what we what we getting, what people are getting into. Like, what we're getting ourselves into. Because sometimes you just see a beautiful face and you just go for it. And you're just like, oh, you know, she's so pretty. I want to get her. Or, or, or he's so... Oh, he's so cute. I want to get him. And, you know, you go and you just want it because you see it and you love it. And you just want what you want. And you don't know any better. You know, you don't know any better. And I don't know, guys. I just feel that. And another thing is about prices. A lot of people, they, they it's just like this hush hush thing about prices. Like, oh, we don't like to discuss prices. Why the hell not? Why not? Why you can't discuss prices? Why? I just answer why. Just somebody tell me why you can't discuss prices online. Like why you can't discuss prices on why you can't tell other other buyers prices. Why you can't discuss prices? Who is making these damn rules? Why? Why you can't discuss prices? I just want to know why. That's it. Oh, we don't like to discuss prices. Why? Why? I pay six thousand two hundred dollars, and that's because I wanted the doll so bad, and she knocked off three hundred bucks for me to be able to get the doll. And I thought I was getting a good doll, and I thought I was getting a good deal, and I and I got scammed out of six thousand two 
$6,200. $6,200, guys. I could have bought myself a nice car. Not that I don't need a car because I got two cars, okay? I don't need a car. But what I'm saying is, well, I could have gotten myself a nicer doll. Like, I could have gotten myself a better doll. Like, is that about a car? I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I just said a car because this car is a big item or big purchase. You know? That people can grasp, grasp, wrap their mind around. You know? But what I'm saying is, you know, I don't know, guys. We just got to, like... I, I'm ready to discuss prices. I want to let people know. You know? I'm ready to let people know. Because this is not right. It's not right. And there's, I, there's nobody out there writing these laws. Like, oh, we can't discuss prices. Oh, we can't we can't discuss the art of the construction of... The... Why not? Why not? Why can't we do that? You know what I'm saying? We got to look out for one another. We got to look out for one another, guys. Come on. Like, we do. We, we should. It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. You know, when somebody contacts me and they ask me, well, what do you think about this doll, Marisol? And I know about the doll because I experienced the doll. I let them know 100% what I experienced and how I feel. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't get it. It shouldn't mean that you should listen to what I experience. It shouldn't mean that you're gonna that you should like what I like. No, we we all like different things. I'm just you asked me and I tell you my experience. That's how I roll. And at least if we do that, we have we have a foundation to go by. And that's where I'm you know that's 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 what I wanted to speak to you guys about. Like we should do that because we should look out for one another you know and that's what i have to say guys i'm not just going to continue you know with the same thing but like i said i'm not trying to like kill her or anything like that or just like you know I, she's doing a really good job by herself this is i'm just i'm just speaking what you guys that have her dolls are afraid to say to speak out that's what I'm, I'm out here, I'm the ugly truth, that's it, that's all I am, I'm the ugly truth, that's it, y'all guys are out there with jacked up dolls by her, and nobody's saying shit, like, and she's out there rocking and rolling, like, oh, I got 30 years in, but I put glue, like this, like a first grader on her dolls, like, who does that, and charge people an arm and a leg, who does that? Who does that? No artist I know but her is using freaking glue on their dolls like that. Like anything. None of my other dolls have glue. That's all I got to say. No other dolls that I have are glued together. That's all I got to say. All right? And that you got 30 years in the game and you're still using glue and you're stitching, hand stitching your dolls like with an ugly ass stitch down, like looking like you never took a course in stitching or you never used a needle and thread before. Like what the hell, get yourself a freaking sewing machine. Get somebody, buy the body. What's going on? What are you doing? What are you selling? Like, I'm over it. I'm just like, you guys got to speak up. Like, it's terrible. And if you guys don't speak up, then, you know, I'm speaking up. I'm, I'm letting you guys know for whoever is all freaking goo goo gaga over the cuteness of the doll and look behind the scenes, which is like under the clothes and check out what's there because it's horrendous. Horrendous. It's terrible. It's just terrible what's under... behind that face my doll is pretty she has beautiful hair she's jacked up that's what i'm saying but anyways guys thank you for watching i appreciate i appreciate you guys so much love you guys i hope you guys have a beautiful blessed rest of your week stay safe out there guys um be kind to one another do something nice for somebody else 
And guys, you know how I end my video? Keep God first. Say a prayer. Be thankful. Be grateful for everything. For the air in your lungs. For the food in your stomach. For the roof over your head. For the panties on your butt. Be thankful. Be grateful for the people in your life. Okay? And guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.